Welcome back to Big Billy Malisoff. Hope you enjoyed the interviews with the cast of The Revenant. We'll be reviewing it next week. Mm -hmm. It's good. Okay. Yep. <laughs> You're about to find out why. Yeah. Uh, because it's the end of 2015. Mm -hmm. What a year. Tis the season. Oh, man. And so, uh, it, you know, we, we had a lot of fun. Uh, there's been a lot of good movies, a lot of bad movies. A lot of both. And I think like last year, I thought we talked about the worst, but there's so many good movies this year. Oh, yeah. I think we should just keep it to the good. I think so, too. Let's keep it positive this year. We could do three shows with all the good movies. We could. Yeah. We really could. Yeah. Because there's a lot we're going to talk about. There's a lot of just B-roll. You guys watch the footage because the, these films are a lot cooler to look at than us. So we'll start This off. one's for you, America. <laughs> right? So we're going to do our top fives back yep. and forth. Yep. Trust us, this crossover, but we'll, we'll get through it. We're going to have a good time. So start it off, top five. Number five for me, this was a tough one. I vacillated back and forth between two movies, and it broke my heart, but The Martian didn't make it. <laughs> oh. My number five movie was Sicario. Nice. Fantastic okay. tone, really well directed, incredibly well acted. Benicio Del Toro, we both agree, deserves yeah. a nomination. Terrifying. Easily deserves a nomination for that yep. one. Great cinematography in that one. Fantastic. Kind of, like I always say, kind of reminded me of Traffic. Yep. That's okay. But it's better than Traffic. It is better than yeah. Traffic. It absolutely is better than Traffic. My fifth top film of the year uh, it is Ex Machina. Uh, this came out way earlier in the year. Yeah. Oscar Isaac, Don Gleason, both fantastic in this film. Alicia yeah. Vikander, well, can't leave her out. Yeah. Uh, but it's, I mean, I just watched this the other day, I, just the other day again with my wife. Yeah. And she was like, this is still amazing. It's still. It is still amazing. And it's scary as all. Because guess what? It's coming, folks. Yeah. It's coming. So, I think it was this year's Interstellar, a movie that yo, sort of breaks early. Sure. And still holds on by the end of the year. I mentioned that because this is my number four. Interstellar, you're in the wrong year. Oh, <laughs> crap. No, Ex Machina is my number four. Ex Machina. I mean, well, you yeah. can keep talking about it. I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, we can go on all, all day. All right, switching gears to the next one. My number four, uh, I love the man. I loved every film he's made so far. It's Quentin Tarantino's The Hateful Eight. Uh, this is his eighth film. I I don't care. It didn't didn't feel like three and a half hours long. <laughs> I loved it. I think it's got some of the best dialogue written. It's, I think it's got the best score of yeah. the year. It is a very Quentin Tarantino movie. Oh, yeah. yeah. Easily Quentin Tarantino, yeah. but great cast. Yeah. I mean, I love it because there's eight people and four of them are like yeah. new new to his world. Right. But then you got like Kurt Russell and Samuel Jackson and right. Tim Roth and Michael Madsen who right. are like his buddies. Right. He's like, let's just make a movie together. Right. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. I interrupted you about this about the score. You're totally right about that. Yeah. Ennio Morricone deserves the Oscar. Don't even have a conversation about it. And which is bad because because Mad Max had a great score it too, did, but this but one just takes the cake. It really does. So what's your number three? My number three... Disney's Inside Out. Ooh. I know it's animated. Yeah. I don't care what you people think. This is a Best Picture nominee. That's great, true. Great concept. Yep. Really well executed. Near perfect. One of the best castings of all time was Lewis Black as Anger. Absolutely. I don't care what anybody says. I think Phyllis too, though. Oh, she yeah, was really too. well cast. I need cast. Amy Poehler. I mean, Absolutely. the whole cast. I mean, they'll hate her. Let's yeah. just name everybody that's yeah. in it. Uh, no, Fantastic film. Yep. Number three for me is absolutely... And it's the only film I've seen four times this year. <laughs> Star Wars, The Force Awakens. Yeah. Um, you can tell me all the plot holes and whatever. I don't care. This movie yeah. took me back to my childhood. Yeah. I mean, I walked out skipping four times. I cried four times. Yep. Harrison Ford's amazing in it. The graphics are amazing. The J.J. Abrams, he reignited my love for Star Wars. Uh, it's... It's so great, and if and if you're not paying attention, if you've been under a rock for the last year or so, don't listen to jo anything George Lucas has to say about this movie. <laughs> Trust JJ. I Trust think, Jimmy. I think most of what he's it's saying really is a joke. Good. I think I think there's some betterment in there. I think so too. But I, it's okay, George. He it, cashed Disney's check, right? I mean, <laughs> right. this a long was time your ago. choice. This was your choice. <laughs> All right, your number two. My number two, Mad. Max. You mentioned it ago when you were talking about the score. Yep. What a surprise this movie was. I mean, blood, guts, engines. Yep. I loved every second of it. I have to agree because my number two is also Mad Max yep. Fury Road. George Miller deserves, I'm trying to think of other people who, did, if anybody else, best director, I think. Because of what he did. Think about this. This is the fourth Mad Max film and has, it is so much better than it has any right to be. But it's totally agree. practical effects. Every one of those cars is drivable. Right. Right, and so like, and then, and then, and this has also been a great year for powerful female performances. Yeah, back to Star Wars as well. Yeah, but Charlize Theron is fantastic in this film. She steals it, and Tom Hardy barely says three words. Yeah, Tom Hardy. It's, it, <laughs> it could have been called Furiosa. This movie, it really could have. I mean, don't you love the way George just drops you into it? Just yeah. assumes that you understand this world. There's no explanation. If you're, well, that's, I've you're heard just people, there. People complain about. It. I'm like, no. If you're paying attention, no, it's, it's there. It's all there, but it's not like super literal. It's really great. Nope. You're yeah. number one. Number one, best film of the year for me. The Revenant. Ooh. I loved it. If you recall a couple shows ago, I said it was what I was looking forward to most. 
I, it turned out to be, for me, yeah. the best film of 2015. It is definitely, it, it is not my top five, but it is, I think it's number six it's, on, my, on my books. It's gorgeous. It's yeah. incredibly well directed. It's Leo's, I think, best performance. Six times the charm. If Leo does not get best actor for this, yeah. I will burn the building to the ground. You know, we keep talking about him because he seems to be in every other movie, but he always nails it. Tom yeah. Hardy, too. Tom Hardy is amazing Ridiculously as well. They both great. deserve nominations, I think. What uh, about you, Jimmy? All right, it's already mentioned a little bit. It's Inside Out. Now, this is, it, for me, this is, hasn't happened since Wally. Yeah. Where an animated film, Pixar always knows how to bring just love and passion and energy and sadness and happiness. And I'm just naming all the emotions now. But, <laughs> but yeah. first of all, damn you, Bing Bong, is what I'm going to say. I know. But I bawled in this movie, I think, twice. I went to yeah. go see it. And then I've watched it at home since then. But yeah. it's just, it is the perfect film. There's yeah. nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Absolutely loved it. I love that an animated film is my number one once again. I think it's I think it's a great choice. It, it, it's it, on my list for a reason too. And yeah. it, and like like we've we're, we've said all year long, it's not about animation. No. It doesn't matter. Storytelling. That's just, that's just the medium. It's yep. storytelling. It's just storytelling. Well that'll do it. Uh, it's great, a great year for you. Yeah. Great films. Happy New Year. You too. Same to me. Good. Same <laughs> to you. <laughs> uh, had a wonderful year. We will be back in 2016 reviewing more films. We're gonna have a blast. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. See you next week. Thank you, Xfinity. <laughs> I'll be like, I'm Can you live with that? 30 oh. seconds? Okay, good. Ooh. Right on. That was cool.